The winter months are coming. Can your parrot be outside or how do you prepare a parrot and what is the cold tolerance in case your parrot spends some time outside? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond, which is available on Amazon. It is your handbook to help you know everything that you need to provide a quality life for your parrot so you can have quantities of bliss. If your parrot is fortunate enough that you can give them some outside space, an aviary, a cage, you know, it is one of the best things for them. I <clears throat> try to rotate my parrot. You can see my Indian ringneck, Milo. Uh, she is outside right now. I really think it's important, first of all, the sun disinfects their feathers um, and the fresh air is, I mean, I've had professionals and veterinarians say it's so key for them and for, um, you know, the fresh air for them to have like, there's like health in the air and when they're outside, they do better. Uh, additionally, the sun also helps them absorb calcium, which otherwise they wouldn't have even when you're feeding them calcium, they still need that vitamin D to be able to take advantage of that calcium. So outside time is really important. Now, if your parrot is fortunate like mine, it, the weather is going to get better. It'll get better and better for us. It won't get really cold. So my parrots aren't going to have a problem. My parrots go in and out of the house because everyone's in at night, that kind of thing. <laughs> You're too close up. That's not, wait, this isn't how I wanted this. Go back, go back. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> but if your parrot uh, isn't used to going in and out, and if your parrot is going to be outside, which would be great, then you have to make sure that you let them get used to the outside weather a little bit at a time. Milo, you're supposed to be in the video. Let's see. Let's see if, where are the capes? Where are the capes? Uh, they're over there playing on, it looks like a cage, but it's really a play area. I can't find them. Oh dear. Where are they? Uh, um, you, you know, parrots, you can't just throw them outside kind of thing. You have to let them get used to the weather. There they are. They're getting some outside time too. So, um, the important things are once you've given them, you know, a little time, maybe during the warmest part of the day, and you let them really acclimate and get used to being outside, then the rules for being outside are number one, they need some protection from the wind. Number two, those little feet don't necessarily keep themselves warm. On the one hand, parrots can withstand cold temperatures, but they have to be able to keep their feet warm and you could see why. Otherwise, they can have problems with frostbite and stuff like that. Their feathers, I think, go a long ways towards keeping them <coughs> noisy. <laughs> Hi, Milo. Okay. Their feathers go a long ways towards keeping them warm. Um, they, like I said, they need shelter from the wind. They need a place to go inside that's heated if they want. So that could be like a shed or, or something like that where they have that option. They may not choose the option, but then they need to be able to sit. And of course, Milo won't show us. She won't hunker down because their feathers need to be able to cover those feet to keep them warm. And that's basically the important things. So you wanna make sure that they have a nice place to perch um, that's going to be warm. For example, you know, this, this guy here wouldn't really provide any shelter for them, right? This palm tree. So it has to really give them some nice, um, a nice option to warm up, even, either naturally or like I said, like a shed or, or some other kind of home house big box that they go in that's heated and that way your parrot can be out 
still enjoying the fresh air and sunshine if you like. In any case, you know, you should always check on your parrot, see how they're doing. Um, I can't say that you could see the parrot shivering. Like, I can't speak to anything like that because I'm fortunate we're in Florida. And about... Oh, my. Oh, my. About the coldest it'll get for us is like 50. And it's nowhere near freezing. And um, that would be at night, and my parrots would be out at night anyway. So... Make sure to keep your parrot warm as the weather changes, is starting to change. And as much as you can, make sure to let them have some fresh air and sunshine so that they can squawk outside, worship the sun as they are intended to with their feathers and crawl up your arm. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. I'll catch you next time.